Hey there, Wargamers. Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how I go about painting blonde hair using the Kingdom Death Monster Ninja model, which is a great model. Now, here's the paints I'm going to be using. Uh, ignore the Reichland Flesh Shade. That should have been a Seraphim Sepia. It was just a small gaffe on my part when I was getting everything set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Zandri dust and uh, we're just going to apply some nice thin coats uh, to the hair. Now the reason I'm going to start with Zandri dust is because it still has the yellow tones to it, but it also has the, the brown tones um, and not being too dark and not being too light at the same time. So basically it's, it's a nice solid base layer to start off with the... Uh, for, with the hair for the blonde, something that we can easily shade and something that we can easily build up the colors with as well. Uh, and it's going to create a really solid base. So as you can see, I'm just lightly applying uh, a thin layer of Zandri dust over the, over the model, just making sure that I'm getting full coverage. want to make sure that uh, none of the original uh, uh, base coat is down on there, uh, just so you have that nice, uh, nice full coverage over it. So once that's done, we're going to move on to the Seraphim Sepia. And this step is going to be uh, shading the model, making sure that we get the recesses of the hair, that nice sort of chestnutty color uh, in th into the, uh, the deepest parts of it, because uh, this is going to give us the contrast for the blonde. Now, as you see, as we go on, I'm not doing a platinum blonde with this. This is more just to give a little bit more of a natural blonde color. So we've applied the Seraphim Sepia over the Zandri Dust, and everything is looking good so far. We have that contrast, and we're now ready to build back up, which we're going to do with Zandri Dust. And so we're going back to this color, and we're going to reapply using the dry brush this time. And this is because we just want to hit the highest areas of the uh, of the hair. We don't want to get any of the recesses. We want to leave the, the sepia tone down there, and we're just going to brighten up the... Uh, the raised parts of the hair, just the highest parts, just give something that's going to really pop and just make sure you get all the areas with it. Uh, sometimes it's easy to forget with hair because it's all over the place. But as you can see, we've, we've applied the dry brush. Uh, the raised areas have that nice brightness to them and we're actually ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be a, a final highlight. This time we're going to use a uh, Shapti bone. And this one is just to give that final, final highlight of uh, almost an almost white, not quite a full white. Um, the Shafti Bone still has some of the, the cream uh, cream tones to it, which is going to work well with the blonde look. So we're just doing a very light dry brush this time around, just hitting the raised areas, trying not to get any of the flat surfaces, because obviously we just want this uh, on the highest points. We just want this to sort of be the, the highlight of the blonde hair. And uh, much like with the Zandri Dust last time, make sure you get all the areas. So as you can see, we, we've we applied the second highlight and we have a nice looking blonde hair with the recesses still showing that deeper chestnutty color and the highlights really popping out. So as always, if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe and you can always follow me along on various social media at Aegis Brand Studios. Uh, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below if there's anything you want to see uh, or if there's any particular uh, criticisms or comments that you'd like to see me improve on. Let me know. Happy Wargaming!